going on into nation this is dark dividend if you guys are new to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell so don't miss future videos so i have my five best high dividend stocks for passive income in 2023 i'm going to be buying these like crazy i'm going to explain to you why i like them and i'm going to provide my rationales as well so since we are really revamping this youtube channel i mean we're at 11,000 subscribers i love you guys to death i'm going to continue to pump out videos five to seven videos a week so make sure you hit that notification bell after you subscribe a lot of you guys need to hit that notification bell as well as subscribe because you watch a lot of videos you guys request a lot of videos but you don't hit that notification bell and or subscribe so you miss a lot of videos so i have a lot of videos i'm doing reviews on so it might be difficult to get back to those ones that you request that i already did videos on Let's check these stocks out right now. So the first dividend stock I would like to go over is Aries Capital Corporation. This is a business development company. It's sitting at 1879 right now. Dividend yield is 10.22%, a PE ratio of 11.29, average volume 2.36 million, market cap 9.72 billion US dollars. Its year range is 1653 to 23 dollars. Day range is 1864 to 1898, and its previous close is 1842. So I have put a high percentage on my M1 Finance fractional share dividend portfolio with this business development company. They've done very well. The revenue is pretty solid, which I'll go over, and they're, because you always want to see with a business development company how their revenue is doing. And again, 90% of what they make for a business development company has to go back to investors. That's the rules. Let's check out their revenue and dividend history. So check out this revenue. This is in millions of US dollars. 2015, 1,025. 2016, 1,012. 2017, 1,160. 2018, 1,337. 2019, 1,528. 2020, 1,511. Then 2021, 1,820. So there is a comeback from 2019 to 2020 with the pandemic. Uh, um, excuse me, 2020 to 2021. And the revenue has gone up from 2015 to 2021. Now let's check out their dividend history. Check out these dividend hikes over time. There's 2012, it was 37 cents and 38 cents. And then they started to make a comeback with their dividend, 39 cents, 40 cents. And then they started giving special dividends. Not accurate, it's actually 42 cents. Then it goes to 40 cents and then 41 cents then to 45 cents, and then you get a little extra three cents to make it 48 cents, and I'll confirm that as well. So the dividend growth in five years is 2.05%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is six. The payout ratio is 88%. So if you bought one share, you made 192 with a 10.42% dividend yield. I'll confirm their dividend history real quick. And just to confirm to you on NASDAQ, in 2021, it was 41 cents, 2022, 45 cents, to 46 cents, and then to 51 cents on 1214. Too. So there is dividend increases. I wanted to just confirm with two sources. Now let's jump to the next dividend stock. And one of my favorite dividend stocks, Arbor Realty Trust, it's sitting at 1322 right now, dividend yield of 12.11%, a PE ratio of 8.03. Average volume 1.61 million. The market cap is 2.27 billion US dollars. Its year range is 1116 to 1888. Day range is 1312 to 1334, and its previous close is 1314. So don't forget, FFO is more important when it comes to real estate investment trusts. And revenue is important as well because 90% of what they make come back to investors. And these guys are a mortgage backed real estate investment trust. Very surprising that they're beating the S&P in the past five years. That's what I like about these guys. And their dividend hikes are very nice. But let's first check out their revenue to back up these facts. So let's check out revenue first. And revenue is always important with real estate investment trust or mortgage-backed REITs. So usually, if there's an increase in revenue, the board of directors usually pulls the trigger and hikes the dividend. So check this out. 2015, it was 142 million US dollars, 2016, 213, 2017, 346, 2018, 484, 2019, 535, 2020, 603, and then 2021, 799. There is a huge hike in revenue, huge increases in revenue 
and check out their dividend history. And this is what really impressed me. By the way, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice. I just want to let you know. 2014, it's 13 cents. 2015, it's 15 cents. 2016, it's 16 cents. 2017, it's 18 cents. 2019, it's 19 cents. And then 2018, it's 21 cents. Do 25 cents. Do 27 cents. You get a special dividend of 15 cents. 27 cents. Now watch this. 20, 20, 32 cents. Then it jumped to 40 cents and 11, 30, 2022. Dividend growth in five years is 13.14%. Payout ratio is 73%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 17. If you bought one share, you made 160 with a 12.17% dividend yield. Now, let's check out the next dividend stock. Next is Hercules Capital. HTGC is a symbol. It's sitting at 1327. Dividend yield is 10.85%. A PE ratio of 41.77%. Average volume 660.00k, market cap 1.73 billion US dollars. Year range is 1116 to 1909. Its day range is 1312 to 1330. And its previous close is 1307. These guys are a business development company. So, in order for you to understand my rationales as to why I'm buying them, I need to show you their revenue and their dividend history. And the revenue is quite impressive. This is in millions US dollars. 2015, 157, 2016, 179, 2017, 190, 2018, 207, 2019, 267, 2020, 287, and then 2021, 280, 97. So there is a huge increase in revenue. Right year, 2020, 2021 was an odd year. Obviously, pandemic and things going on were freaking out regarding the market. So the revenue has gone up from 2015 to 2021. That attracts me. Now check out their dividend history. And as a business development company, these guys have started off strong and they're getting stronger. 2011, here's their revenue, 22 cents, quarterly dividend stock, 2012, 23 cents, 2012, 24 cents, 2013, 25 cents, and 2014, 31 cents, a little stagnant. Guess what? They cracked 33 cents in 2018. 2019, 34 cents, 2020, 40 cents, a little bit of a dividend cut. You can blame the pandemic, 32 cents, 34 cents, 37 cents, 2021, 39 cents, and then to 40 cents, and 2022, 48 cents, then to 50 and 51 cents. So the payout ratio is a little bit high. I'm not too concerned. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 12. Dividend growth in five years is 1.75%. If you bought one share, you made 144 with a 11.02% dividend yield. These guys, the plan is to have stocks like these buy the dividend growth stocks like Starbucks, JP Morgan, um, some of the other ones, McCormick. So I'm loading up in these type of dividend stocks and I'm going for the dividend growth stocks later. Now, let's check out the next dividend stock. Next is British American Tobacco. Sitting at 4016, a dividend yield of 8.57%, a PE ratio of 14.14, average volume 3.34 million, the market cap is 89.56 billion US dollars. Year range is 3547 to 4724. Its day range is 4010 to 4027. And its previous close is 4016. Now they have not done well against the SP. That attracts me for these guys. Um, and again, buttonies a sin. Smoking's a sin. This is a sin stock. Now, I'm going to show you their dividend history. I have done numerous videos regarding their revenue, and I'll show you their dividend history. We'll start in 2019, 63 cents to 67 cents, and then you get a little bit of the pandemic at 65 cents to 67 cents, and then they jumped up to 74 cents, and then to 73 cents, and now they're up at 74 cents. So it is a high yield dividend stock. The dividend growth in five years. Is 4.23%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 11. Annual dividend, if you bought one share, you made 294 with a 7.32% dividend yield. Now it's not showing the payout ratio. I'll show you the payout ratio real quick, but this is one that I'm loading up on and I'm continuing to buy them. I'm long in these guys. I like the dividend history on them and dividend growth. It's a little bit slower, but it's a high income dividend stock. All right, I'll go over the payout ratio real quick. So right now I'm on Seeking Alpha. The cash dividend payout ratio is 
percent. Dividend payout ratio um, FY1 non GAAP is 56.30%. So free cash flow dividend yield ratio 1.98%. Uh, let's see, net debt is 23.43%. That's something to look at. Debt equity is 60.59%. Debt capital is 37.73%. Debt income margin is 20.5%. 1%. Return on common equity is 7.87%. Cash from operations is $13.01 billion. So cash per share, 192. So that's one thing that's very interesting. A 60-month capital asset pricing model, alpha negative 1.21%. Again, this is a high yield dividend stock. I just wanted to confirm that with you guys. Let's go to the final dividend stock. Final dividend stock is Owl Rock Capital Corporation. Sitting at 11.65, a dividend yield of 11.33%, PE ratio of 10.23, average volume 1.98 million, the market cap is 4.59 billion US dollars. Year range was 1018 to 1533, its day range is 1153 to 1173, and its previous close is 1145. Again, this is a business development company, so I'll show you their revenue and dividend history. And check out this revenue. This is in millions of US dollars. 2016, 28, 2017, 159, 2018, 388, 2019, 718, 2020, 803, and then 2021, 1021. Huge increase in revenue. Now let's check out their dividend history. These guys had a few bumps and bruises. Let's start in 2019. It was 31 cents, 239 cents. 2021, then they dropped to 31 cents. And then they got that little special three cents. Okay, add that, and then they're at 33 cents. So the payout ratio is 92%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is four. Dividend growth in five years, you can blame the pandemic, negative 3.92%. So if you bought one share, you made 124 with a 10.53% dividend yield. And I'll confirm their dividend history on another source before we conclude this video. I'm on their website, and you know they did have a little bit of bumps and bruises. Let's start in 20, 28 cents, then the 31 cents right here. Then you get a little dividend right here of an extra three cents and 33 cents. Then going back, you get a little dividend of two cents to 31 cents. Then you get a special dividend of four cents. Then you get 31 cents to plus eight cents. You get a little, you know. Here and there, which is not bad, 31 cents plus 8 cents. Then you get 31 cents plus 8 cents. So, again, you know, these guys, based on revenue, they have to distribute dividends. So, let me know what you think of this video. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And, of course, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes. Only disclaimer in the description. Um, you guys have been fantastic. We are at 11,000 subscribers, and I'm going to continue to post more videos for you guys. And so I'm starting to have a little bit more time, starting to do a little bit more collaborations with people. And I'm going to post a video of my collaboration with Dividend Dave in the comment section. You guys take care and have a good one.